Yo, what's up Nerdy Nation? This is Nerdy McEvan with a new video. Today, we're gonna talk about how to get 800k in GTA Online currency and 3 relic weapons which are quite unique in the game. If you're new to this game, chances are you haven't heard nor done these missions. So don't you worry, I'm gonna be here to teach you to get them. There's no requirements for you to do these missions. They're quite easy and you can do this under 20 minutes and once you're done, you can get around 800k GTA online currency which you can use to build your businesses, buy new upgrades, buy new weapons, new clothings or spend them on the strip clubs. I don't care where you will use the money. And on top of that, you can also brag to your friends about your new unique weapons which you can use in game beating the freak out of everyone like the maniac that you are. Now, I know the video is quite long but I did my best to condense every single detail that I can find in order for me to help you accurately. Well, I could have made one video around 10 minutes long for just one mission but that's cheating and we all know time is important in GTA Online. So please, if you want me to help you get around 800k in just under 20 minutes, don't skip any single second on this video as they contain a lot of details which will really be beneficial for you to complete the missions. Now, without further ado, let's get started Nerdy Nation! So the first mission we got on hand, it will center around the vendor guy who will give you an email about a treasure that he wants you to find. Once you got the email, a certain portion of the map will be highlighted on yellow and all you need to do is get your car, your motorcycle or any kind of vehicle and drive to the spot. This area will be random for every players and I will show to you two other spots where the letter will spawn in a little bit. Once you're on the spot, you need to look for the first piece of clue, which is a letter hidden somewhere inside the highlighted area. Once you're near the clue, you hear a bell ringing, which will become louder as you're nearing it even more. Will you find the letter, investigate it, and three more areas will be highlighted on the map. But first, I'm gonna show you two other places where you can find the letter. So the second place is here on the wooden post. You will have a hard time finding the letter if you will not look carefully. It is located inside the golf park near the city. Now for the third location. The third location will be on the owl statue itself. You just need to pause the video and see the location properly if the video is a little bit fast. Now on to the next three clues. These three clues will spawn on the exact same place and will be highlighted on your map. First one is inside a cave, a guy without a shirt. All you need to do is investigate it and go to the second place. The second one is near sandy shores, inside a broken cottage, it is a shovel with blood on it. And it's located here on the map. And now for the third clue. The third clue will be under a tree which is a box for the relic itself. Once you're done getting all three clues, the relic will spawn randomly on your map. Just go to the highlighted spot on your map and you'll be able to use your first relic weapon which is the golden double action revolver. It is a shiny weapon with a great animation when holstering it. Good job for the first mission. So Nerdy Nation, before we proceed to our next mission, I just want to take this quick moment to say thank you. I put a lot of effort into making this video 
and I want to help other players out there. And it would mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and tell your friends and family. That would be much appreciated. I also want to plug my Facebook page where I do live streaming. We got around 1,000 followers there and also my Instagram account which I revived earlier for this channel. Thanks! Now, on to the next mission. Now, on this next mission, it will center around a murderer that left 5 clues for you to find all around Los Santos. The first clue is here, which is an amputated hand near a plastic bag. I reckon that's the body in that plastic bag, but I digress. I will show every single location of each clues on the map after investigating them. After investigating them, you will get 5,000 GTA Online dollars as a bonus. The second location will be painted on the wall of a building, which read, Can you find me? So, same process. Go to the clue, press E, and you'll get another 5,000 bonus in the game. Third clue will be at the northern part of Sandy Shores. The clue will be some kind of a machete that was forcefully thrown to the side of the barn. All you need to do is walk towards it and press E, boom, another $5,000 as a bonus. Now, the fourth clue will be on the other side of the map, near Palito Bay, on the restaurant close to where Trevor and the dude went on hunting. It is a handprint with blood on it, on the toilet door, CR door, whatever you want to call it. And here's the tricky part. The fifth clue is a little bit complicated to finish, but it is very very easy if you know where to look in the first place. There are four exact locations where you can find the fifth clue. Here we're going to the first area, which is near a river bank beside the bushes and the trees. It will be a black van with bodies inside the black plastic bags under your trunk. If you can't find it here, then we need to go to the second place where I personally found it on my main account. The second place will be on the marshlands near the Zancudo airbase. Just go to the inner area and look for the van. Now, if you still haven't find it, then we'll have to go to the third area, which will be around this location, under the bridge beside the train railway. Just go there, look for a black van and investigate the van. If you're still unlucky, then the last location will be your last place to go to. Travel to this area where I'm currently traveling right now. Just follow the train railway until you reach this area of the map with a big silo. The van will spawn on the back of the silo. If you're still unlucky, just find a new session and repeat the process. Hopefully, you'll find the fifth clue sooner. Now, after finding the fifth clue, we need to do one last thing before getting your relic weapon. Go to Sandy Shores airstrip exactly between 1700 hours to 0500 hours in game time, which is the same as 7 pm to 5 am. Don't go early and also don't go late. You need to wait for a guy that will try to kill you. If you do it right, the machete guy will spawn near you and will try to kill you. In this clip, I wasn't paying attention and he got me with his machete. All you need to do is headshot him with any weapon you have and boom, you have another relic weapon in your arsenal. Now, we still have one more mission to go through before we can get the money that I promised you early in this video. Hang on there, nerdy nation. We'll get you that money. You're still there? Great! Now we can move on to our next mission. This mission centers around Maud. Maud? Eh? This mission centers around Maud and the five hostages she wants you to find and abduct. The area where these people are will differ from players to players, regardless of where they are when they receive the email from Maud. Basically, once you get an email from her, you go to the place where it is highlighted yellow on the map, find the hostage, and beat the freak out of them. The bell will ring louder once you're near them.
Once they surrender, just go find two-seater vehicle and wait for them to enter the vehicle and deliver them to Maud. Her place will be marked as M on the map. Every delivery you make will get you $10,000 as a bonus, so you need to deliver all of the hostages she requested as soon as possible. Once you're done with the delivery, she will email you again giving the next location of another hostage you need to find. Like I said, just repeat the process 5 times and beat the freak out of everyone like the maniac that you are. Once you're done doing that, and once you're done making your last delivery, the relic will show up randomly on the map for you to get. Just head to the area and claim your stone hatchet. Easy, right? Now for the fun part, for you to get the money that I promised you earlier, we need to go on a glitch hunting. What you need to do is go to this area on the map, look for an SUV and go to the canopy of a building called Chabs. Park the SUV just like how I'm parking it right now and go to the back, jump on it and jump on it again to enter the canopy. Don't hold the gun cause there's a chance you will just tumble and we'll be back again to square one. This is actually a bug. Basically, what we need to do is down everyone you can see for you to get the remaining money. Go first person mode first for you to see your targets. For the golden double action revolver, you need 50 headshots confirmed kills. Just keep on shooting them till you get the money. After finishing the quest on the double action, switch to your navy revolver. With this gun, you also need 50 confirmed kills for you to get the additional money. You don't need to headshot anyone, just get them with your gun. By the time you're done with this, you'd have around 600,000 already in your pocket. Just don't forget to put them first inside your bank before proceeding to the next quest. After all of that, it's time to make the last amount of money that you can make out of the relic weapons. And now for the last part. So this will be the last mission that you need to do. Go to the home screen, go to the online tab, go to jobs and go to missions tab and look for a mission called time to get away find the match or just host the mission and enter the mission by yourself once inside go to the beach where you can find a lot of people this mission will not give you stars when you down someone you can also do this on other types of missions but i prefer this one okay switch to your stone hatchet and you need 25 confirmed kills in order for you to get the remaining money I promised you. Down 25 persons like the maniac that you are and boom, now you're a millionaire. I mean, uh, not quite yet but a little bit more grinding and you will be.
That's it everyone for today. Hopefully I helped you in some way with this video. Have fun with your additional money and relic weapons. You deserve it. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video to your friends and family. And I'll catch you again on the next video, Nerdy Nation. I'm Nerdy McKevin, signing out.